And you have your lights on coming up to me. What is this for? I am just checking. I mean, yours is parked here. You didn't see me sleeping. I saw you last night driving around too. So have I'm you sorry. Got your, have you got your ID with you, please? You saw my. I'm sorry. What was that? So I saw you driving around last night. So are you visiting the area? I'm not in your business. Let me see your driver's license, please. You have no authority to just come up to me lawfully parked and ask for my driver's license. I can. So I just need to see your ID. Uh, no, thank you. You don't, you're refusing to show, tell me who you are? You have no authority right now to just, I'm just parked legally and lawfully. Yeah, you didn't pull me over. That's true. That's true. That's exactly right. So. Are you bored? Sort of, sort of. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Avaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. Today's YouTube video is brought to you by the channel Monkey Bros. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. Today, we're going to take a look at the town of Highlands Police Department located in the state of South Carolina. Now, the crazy thing about this is I've seen police officers go out of their way to get ID. Because as we all know, the ID, the identification is addictive. But I've never seen them try this hard for two days straight, two days in a row. And they go to the extent of really doing some, I mean, if it was police work or a real investigation, I would say good job. But they investigate this guy's life simply because they weren't able to ID him because he broke no law. But it may sound crazy right now. Let's watch the video and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. You got to watch it all the way to the end. Let's check this out. I just saw you sleeping here earlier. Were you sleeping? No, you didn't see me sleeping earlier. I didn't see you sleeping earlier? No. And you have your lights on coming up to me. What is this for? I am just checking. I mean, yours is parked here. You didn't see me sleeping I saw you last night night driving around too. So have I'm you got sorry? Your, have you got your ID with you, please? You saw my, I'm sorry, what was that? I said I saw you driving around last night. So are you visiting the area? I'm right, none of your business. Let me see your driver's license, please. You have no authority to just come up to me lawfully parked and ask for my driver's license. I can. So I just need to see your ID. Uh, no, thank you. You don't, you're refusing to show, tell me who you are? You have no authority right now to just, I'm just parked legally and lawfully. Yeah, you didn't pull me over. That's true, that's true. That's exactly right, so. Are you bored? Sort of, sort of. Now that's the first. The first time a cop ever admits he's bored and that's why he's harassing you. That's new. Check out, make sure everybody's okay because we have medical issues with people sometimes. They get in their car and they stay there a long time. If they don't get checked, you know, we, we get in a bind, so. Okay. So let me see your license, please, sir. Um, you are driving your vehicle. You had to get here, correct? Um, can I have a, a request of supervisor? Absolutely, sir. Highlands two hundred two. Okay. You ten twenty three. And uh, what crime do you are you suspecting me of? Or? Suspect, this is an investigation. So just a random stop. Just it's not even a stop. I'm checking to see if you're. You have okay. your you got your lights on. I'm perfectly fine. I don't need any assistance. Be right back with you. Um, am I detained right now? No, sir, but I would request that you stay. I'm not detained. You're not, no, absolutely not. You're not detained. Okay. Are you going to leave? I'm just gonna go down the street. I don't. I'm being harassed. I don't want to anything no, no, to do no. with you right now. How can they? How can it be harassment? Are you a uh, auditor? Is that what you are? No. Then what? What are you doing this for? You're just bored. I'm Why not, are you approaching me? You're bored. I'm and you're, checking to see if you're okay. I'm perfectly fine. I'm I'm great. Okay. Yeah. We're all set. You can leave anytime you want to, but you know, it creates suspicion on my part when you do that because normally if that's I encounter not, a law That's not lawful suspicion. I know, but normally when I encounter law enforcement, I'm just cooperative. I just let them know, well, you know what's going on. Well, I'm not you and I have rights. We all have rights and I respect yes. your rights. Okay. All right. Okay. So are you, so you're refusing to let me know I want you to speak to your supervisor. All right, absolutely. Holly. Okay, so I'm just parked, minding my own business. This gentleman here, he was parked when I came through early. He was sleeping. So no, I, I was not sleeping. Out. That's a good. You that, appeared to be sleeping. Nobody's sleeping. So, be quiet. I you don't. You don't tell me uh, to be quiet. I was not sleeping. To identify himself. Because I'm just parked there legally, lawfully, minding my own business, literally yeah. doing nothing. So he requests to speak to the supervisor. I just got to this parking spot about 
five minutes ago. That's incorrect. I came through 20 minutes ago. He was sitting right. I was not here for 20 minutes. Uh, sir. So, this is where we sit. Which is completely irrelevant, but I was not here for 20 minutes. And what are you even doing? Are you bored? I am checking to see if you were okay. I'm fine. When you came, I was polite and told you I'm perfectly fine. I'm just literally just parked here. Like, I was using my phone. I pulled over to use my phone. Like, and I should not be explaining this to any of you. I'm, like, literally doing nothing. We're in America, right? It's the United States. Like, I think he's an auditor. As well. I'm not an auditor. You're not? No. I'm just a person minding their own business. Well, and this is a huge problem. When you stand up for your rights, um, the police have now created categories. You're an auditor. And yes, we know we have auditors out there, but just because an everyday individual who's walking down the street or driving down the street and he's illegally stopped by police and he states, hey, I don't want my rights violated. Oh well, yeah, he's an auditor. It makes no sense. No, he's just an individual who does not want his rights to be violated. And we respect that. We don't, they, but there again, somebody sitting in a spot and you were longer here because when I came through, I saw your vehicle. All right, he told me that I'm not detained. So am I am not detained currently? Am I, am I, am I being detained no, right now? No, sir, you're not detained. This is just an investigation. Okay, so I'm free to go. You're free to go if you want to. Okay, I'm about to just go down there and park and please stop harassing me. Listen. You can't just come up to me and do this. Oh, yes, we can. No, we this, have the this right is, to this, come this, and ask if you're okay, okay and to engage in conversation. We absolutely have the right. Okay. You're in a public space. What, thinks, what makes will you, you think you that come you have up, the you, right not to ever encounter a law enforcement? You came up to me asked me, am I okay? I told you that I'm okay. So that should be the end and of you it. you refuse to identify yourself. So as a law enforcement officer, what would I think? All right. It does, this this is your your lo your logic is just no my logic it's ridiculous. is lawful. We it, somebody parked on the street if they think they're camping sleeping we're we're able to stop and check somebody in the there's ordinances against okay. That. okay so that's, that's the primary so that's, that's, okay that's fine okay so okay. no one's camping correct. and sleeping that's for us to determine i know but you came up to me and asked me am i okay so you had a pre-contextual pre stop which you didn't even stop me i was already parked here yeah. You came up, see you that I'm okay. What pre contextual means. Does it look like I was just sleeping? Do I sound like somebody was just sleeping? Come on. Sir, when you came through earlier, when I came through earlier. Look, man, I respect the police. You guys are bored. Like, I did. You came up, I was polite. You asked, what was I doing? I'm just here, just on my phone, like minding my own business. So, so you've been there for a while? That's none of you guys' business. How do you guys. What, what is this? Okay, have a nice day. You're good. I have a, I have a right to, to go. do I have a right to privacy? You, you, well, you again, go. you're in a public you? area, so it's a limited right. I mean, you're obviously going to at some point. But you're engage. asking me, you're asking me how long am I going to be in the area? I have a right it's to privacy. A conversation. However long they don't. Answer? It's not a general conversation. Yes, you're yes. you're asking trained trick questions. Gonna clear up. We're going to see why, and you know, later in the video, why he is asking that question. How long are you going to be in the area? Well, what's the reason? Well, maybe we want to follow you around South Carolina. Sounds crazy, but that's what happened. So you're approaching me again today? I am. Captain Mike Jolly with the Highlands Police Department. All right, and you're approaching me again because... Your driver's license is not valid. Did, you you did I give you my driver license? No, I didn't need it because your vehicle is registered to you. And I can run your information from that which shows that your Florida driver's license is not valid. Okay, why didn't you tell me that yesterday? Because I didn't run that yesterday. Okay, so, and that's why you just pulled me over. I'm not pulling you over. Do you see my blue lights on? I'm making a citizen's contact. You're making a citizen's contact? Yeah. You realize you guys keep, like, bothering Doing me. Doing my job by telling you that your driver's license is not valid. No, but from the stop from yesterday, he told me that he saw me sleeping and then he came back later mm -hmm. he didn't stop me then he came back later to ask me was i sleeping that doesn't make any sense he came back later and said that he was checking on you to make sure you're okay because and i told him highlands has an ordinance against camping okay but why wouldn't he stop at the moment he seen that it looked like i wasn't okay why would he come back when when he doesn't see me to appear to be sleeping that doesn't make that doesn't make any logic why would you not stop me then that's like if you see somebody at a at a run a stop sign 
Oh, I saw you on the stop sign earlier, but now I'm uh, making contact with you to ask you about that. Mr. Feast, I'm stopping here to let you know, mm -hmm. as a courtesy, that your driver's license is not valid. This is a very valid question. Like, why would you drive by me, go do whatever it is that you're doing, come back later, and then say, well, I saw that you were in trouble earlier, so I came back to see were you okay. It's like driving by me when you see me choking. You leave, go do what you have to do, whatever that is, come back to ask, are you okay? No, I'm dead, dummy. You should have stopped then. It's a very valid question, and it doesn't make sense. These guys are just trying to put together a game plan to follow this guy around to get his identification, and they're putting in a very strong effort to do so. Let's run, my, let's run my driver license right now. It's not a state. I don't have a state of Florida driver license. I'll give you my driver license right now. All right, let's give him my driver license right now. And I saw you follow me. You followed me like three streets, curved around, and came to this. Sure. To this. Um, there's my driver license. Thank you. Go, go ahead and run that. Not the state of Florida. Call it in. Look on your computer. I'm waiting. And I don't have a problem with the police, but this is ridiculous. I posted that video yesterday online. I didn't even post the Highlands yeah. Police Department. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Fine. I didn't even. I didn't even identify the officers to be that's nice, fine. which I could have. And it's got hundreds of thousands of views, and people are upset. South Carolina 105 586 293 it's got hundreds of thousands of views. People are upset with your officer. I, I, I didn't even I identify him. Mr. Feast, I, I understand. It's... And now you're approaching me like this again, telling me my driver license is So you're telling finished. me I can't just talk to somebody? I want to be left alone. And the court of public opinion, they will not think that this is fine. up to satisfactory. And this is at this point, this harassment. No, it's not. Yes, Mr. this Feast. is. At this point, I could, I could hire a lawyer. Okay. So, no. are we good yet? No, because it just said no record. So, trying to see the number on here. Now, you tell me the number on there. Yes, one, yes. One, zero five, one zero five five. What's that last number on there? The last number's a two. See, it doesn't look like it because it's kind of rubbed off. Ten four. If you will try that last number as a two instead of a three. One zero five five eight six two nine two. It's a good license, bro. Okay. I'm a law by citizen. That's fantastic. If this is a good yeah. license, then I'll let you go. But the the license that's registered to your registration plate. It doesn't matter. It it does. If we run that and we run your name off of that in Florida because the car is registered in Florida, and if it shows that your license in Florida is not valid, bro. You got, I, I, <laughs> it, it's, it's not good logic, man. I, you, I, the guy you see, you see. So you're telling me I can't do my job. Not the way do that you're job. doing it. It's bad policing. It's not bad policing. If I run your tag and your tag says it's registered to Mr. Kim Feast and I run Mr. Kim Feast out of Florida and the driver's license in Florida says it's not valid, then it's good policing. I've got no way to know that you've got a driver's license in South Carolina when you have one in Florida. If I never gave you, it's not valid. You never were able to identify me with my driver license, so you didn't even know who that was when you ran it. You just assumed it had to be me. No, I didn't. Because I was able. You shouldn't have just followed me I was like able that. To identify you. You shouldn't have just followed. Is that you, Mr. Feast? Is that not you? It says South Carolina right there. That says. Florida driver's license, license number F2. You see that address? Now? That address? That tells me nothing. It's the same address as that. Just because you've got an address in South Carolina doesn't mean you don't have a Florida driver's license. This was a bad stop. This isn't a stop. Do you see my blue lights on? You followed me for like four streets over here. No, I didn't. All right. But can y'all just please leave me alone now? Y'all y'all identified me because you're like, who's this guy in the town? And... I'm not trying to have a problem with the police. I've done nothing. I got a valid driver license. I've just been ch chilling, minding my own business. I've literally done nothing. I have a cop that he did not see me sleeping. And he it is, it, we know he didn't see me sleeping. It's a bad lie, which he said. 
and now y'all approaching me today it feel like i'm just being bro i'm just up in the i'm just up in the mountains trying to just have a good how time long, how long have you been up here that you would know the ordinances that you're not allowed to camp overnight no one was camping you're you're homeless no one's you're homeless vehicle. no no really? one's homeless so your gofundme page is incorrect from four years ago you got what? kicked out of your house for being republican you've got a what? gofundme you've got a video saying guys i'm sorry you know thank you for all your I donations make... I'm, I'm homeless look how i've got my band set up i got some wood off you on. guys see this it's called investigation and that's what i'm talking about these guys have really done their homework over a driver's license they claim is not valid that we later find out is actually valid. They wanted ID that bad that they know the guy's political affiliation, that he had a GoFundMe, they knew his uh, career situation. They knew everything except the fact that he had a valid driver's license in the state of South Carolina. This is beyond ridiculous. If that effort would have gone to just police work, I would say kudos to these cops, but the effort did not go to police work. It went towards trying to violate his rights. Why? I don't know. Why is it so hard to put that same effort towards doing your job correctly versus harassing a citizen for no good reason? Let's keep watching. So from yesterday, so you see guys, from yesterday, that interaction, he went pulling up my background and it's upset with me over. I didn't pull up your background. I ran your driver's You're talking license. about like, like, like my, my previous political affiliations and. That's on your GoFundMe. That's an easy Google search. From four years ago, previous previous uh anybody political affiliation anybody. anybody can google search anybody if you google you search thought it was me, a gotcha moment if you google search me you'll find me on youtube okay but why are you guys upset with me from yesterday to be doing with. all this well y'all just leave me alone though i have a problem you know, i just i'm just having a happy good happy. time i'm just having a good time and just it, it was just law abiding and, and 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 that's it man you can continue to look me up on the internet and you'll see like I'm a popular person on there. Not for anything okay. with police. My content is just it's family friendly. Family yeah. friendly stuff and like but I will stand up for my rights and 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 this is just a typical regular citizen's contact. We're allowed to do that by law enforcement. I'm giving you a heads up. Not as a whole you know, not as a whole from yesterday and today. You can't you can't camp overnight. No one violence. has ever done that. I'm not but again, yeah, this is embarrassing. It's disheartening, and I shouldn't have to be dealing with this. Just having a conversation with a law enforcement officer is not embarrassing. There's nothing embarrassing. It's day two. You don't think I have better things to do? Unlike you thinking that I might be homeless. You know, I make, you know. I'm just going off of the information of, that I was able to get. Again, these cops followed and tailed this man for two days until they finally got his ID. There are other parts of this video that are not in the video. I had to shorten it down a little bit. It was it was pretty long. Um, go over and check it out and just watch the full video and just listen to this cop. And this was a captain, by the way. So this is the same guy who I've been I've been talking about since I started this channel. The rookie who goes uh, who leaves the academy knowing nothing, according to the law, that he knows nothing. That rookie becomes, let's say, a corporal, then a sergeant, and lieutenant, and so on, captain and chief. And still the same guy who never self-educated to really find out what he's supposed to be doing, you know. And we see this perfect example. A captain who left the academy and still to this day, who's a veteran police officer, still violating rights. This is what we're dealing with in America. This is why we record the police. This is why you should know your rights. So make sure you record the police and always know your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off. Welcome to The GOAT Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. Be sure to subscribe, call in and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.